Today we're going to install the brackets that I've made previously. <clears throat> the brackets are what join the ab plate and the kidney plate and the back plate together. And I'll show you how those go on. These are the brackets that I made. The metal is a piano wire or music wire that you can find at some hardware stores. The uh, size that I use is .047. The screws are three 48 5 16 flathead screws and the washers and 340 348 uh, nuts you're gonna need one for each uh, each side the elastic is one inch black elastic that I have sewn into a loop and this is going to be what basically goes between the two brackets uh, that hold the to hold the pieces together. This this gives the costume flexibility and holds everything together. It's just the way they did it back in 1976. So that's how we're going to do it. The measurements on the brackets. There's two different style of brackets, and that I know of, anyways. Um, there's the uh, there's the longer bracket which measures about uh, three quarters of an inch tall, and it's uh, a little over an inch. And a little over an inch wide so three quarters of an inch tall a little over an inch wide for the one inch elastic and then each tab I made looks like about a half an inch in length it's very hard to keep that exact measurement as you're bending these things unless you've got some automated way to do it I did it all by hand so I don't know if they're uh, exactly the same and then the smaller brackets uh, they're about a quarter of an inch tall and a little over an inch wide and then each each bracket area where I mean each area where the uh, the bolts go in it looks like it's about a quarter of an inch so uh, you know it looks like they vary a little bit from one piece to the next the attachment points are going to be on the inside lip of the butt and the inside lip of the kidney and the top of the kidney and the uh, the bottom of the back piece here your armor should have a little bit of a lip for the screws to attach if your armor doesn't have a lip then uh, you probably can't do this you'll have to just do elastic glued to the inside pieces or velcro uh, same with the uh, the chest you should have a lip on the bottom of it you've got basically on the chest you've got the screw attachments are kind of like this you know and uh, you're gonna attach it like that. I've marked my uh, joining pieces where I'm going to drill my holes for the screws. Um, on the abdomen here, I just basically center this line, uh, you know, with the center of the ab plate, and then I'm gonna, of course, uh, put my screw brackets in there about uh, the spacing apart, and I'm just gonna basically. Uh, hand fit each bracket because the size is not very consistent of my brackets so I'm going to hand fit each and every bracket so that it's centered on this line and the screw holes line up so there's one and then uh, I measured two inches from the end of this lip to here for this one so I'm going to center my bracket on this one here and then I did the same thing here I measured two inches from the end of this lip to center my bracket here I did the same thing. Uh, well, I didn't do the same thing on, on the on the the upper piece that's going to join the kidney to the back. I centered that. It's about two and a half inches from the center of this, or to the center of this piece. That's about a five inch span. It's about two and a half inches, or just center it. And then uh, my my upper back piece. Um, I found the center of the back piece by just laying a ruler across it, and I marked it in the center. So that's that. And then I, I measured two inches in on this side and put a mark. I measured two inches in on this side and put a mark. And then I laid this panel up against the back here. Um, and I, I just basically transferred the marks from here to the other side, you know, to the other panel so that they would be directly above each other. So this, this doesn't measure two inches from here, but it matches the back piece if you get my meaning and then on the chest the chest piece I basically went down from the 
from the groove up here, the, the V. I went all the way down and I just marked the center. And then uh, on, the, on the chest here, I, um, I basically uh, matched these marks up here with the marks on the ab plate by laying the chest by laying the chest right on top you know right right parallel with the uh, the other piece and then just transferring that mark over so that it, they lined up and that's where I'm going to drill my holes for my brackets and like I said each bracket is a little different so I'm going to drill each hole uh, by hand and custom shape them or custom make them so that they fit. Here's what here's another kit I, I found online. You can kind of get an idea of what he's done here. This is uh, this is his his piece all kind of laid out. This is what we're going to be doing. This is how the brackets are going to be screwed in. I'm going to use a, an eighth inch drill bit, and I've uh, I, I laid my bracket right up centered on that line that I'm gonna drill into here I centered the bracket on that line that I made on the on the plate and then I just kinda centered the bracket in the middle of the plastic here where I wanted it and then I made my marks for my holes so now I'm gonna drill these holes Now this bracket is just going to bolt right into here. It's going to go on the inside though, and I'll show you what that looks like when we're all done. All right, I got my first holes drilled, and I got the first bracket in. As you can see, I, I bolted it in to the uh, inside, and with the flathead screws facing out. And uh, you want to make sure that when you put that first screw in, that you go ahead and put your loop in and then put your second screw in because otherwise of course you'll have to unbolt it and put the loop on it again so now this piece is ready to to mate up to the the opposite side and then they'll hold together the piece and the screws are small enough that they almost they are almost countersunk um, and then to finish this off we're gonna paint the screws white and I'm just gonna work my way around and do the rest of them I'll, uh, I'll shoot between each uh, each bracket It's been about five minutes and I got the first brackets installed. You can see the screws here are going in and the elastic is attached. It's pretty, pretty solid. Uh, you know, now we're going to do the opposite side so that the back plate will be fully assembled or the bottom back plate, the kidney to the butt I should say, will be assembled. All right. All the brackets on the uh, the ab plate are now on, and uh, <clears throat> I just went around and hand tightened them at first. But then I I followed that up with uh, uh, some needle nose pliers and screwdriver, and I I just tightened them, just snugged them up. You don't want to make it too tight because the plastic uh, will already be stressed enough. So if you make it too tight, then they'll probably cause too much stress, and you might end up cracking it. But uh, so now these brackets are, are all installed and I'm going to uh, attach the uh, upper back plate to this and uh, attach the butt still. I got to do that too. All right, I got all the, the butt brackets and um, elastic attached now. Now we're going to actually attach this to the back end or to the kidney plate. That's a little, a little hairier because you have to put the bracket in and then you have to flip it over when the bracket is attached to the uh, elastic. So now there's tension holding the two parts together, right? And then you have to tighten the screws over here by just kind of pushing this, this bottom piece out of the way so you can get to the screws. It's not real difficult, but it just makes for a little awkward positioning and and uh, that kind of thing. So that's what we're going to do now. And uh, when I get the first one done, I will show you. I had a really good idea uh, when I started to screw it or t started to drill the holes for the uh, the joining part here. Um, this is where the butt plate's going to attach, right? So 
I decided that I would just open up the clamshell of the the whole torso here and uh, go ahead and drill all my holes and put one screw in for each bracket so that way when it comes time to actually join the piece together all I got to do is slide the the uh, elastic onto each bracket and then I just have to fidget getting one screw in for each bracket instead of you know trying to drill around you know the butt plate that's move in the way and all that okay okay so I got the first one in and uh, as you can see my brackets are a little little different in size but because I hand fitted each one uh, it's not that big of a, of a deal and the uh, elastic is now joining the two pieces together so we got flexibility in the costume and uh, now I'm gonna do this one and I just need to put that one screw in and then I'll move on to this last one here and then the butt will be joined to the uh, the torso and I'll move up to the back next now the butt is all joined together and it's uh, it's super flexible so whoever wears the costume will be able to move around and, and have a lot more mobility you might even be able to sit in this who knows now I have the back plate completely attached and uh, very flexible so whoever wears it it's going to be able to be very comfortable and uh, so now the next thing is to attach the chest to here and then this will all be pretty much one piece except for the shoulder straps which are going to be coming up so we'll do that next we're going to do the attach the chest all right so i just realized that i kind of screwed up uh one area i had the uh elastic originally attached to the upper abdomen uh and i was going to join the chest by keeping one side of the bracket open and just sliding the elastic through but i realized after i put it all together that because this bracket is so much taller it was really difficult to get the elastic into this bracket especially when you had to come over the lip of the abdomen because the chest hangs over the lip so what i did was i put the elastic on the chest and i'm just going to slide it over these brackets when i put it together and i'm going to do that right now torso is pretty much assembled 